So I'm going to just be really blunt with you here. If you are a man of any age, what I'm going to share with you in this video is probably going to shock you. But trust me when I tell you that you absolutely have to understand this if you want any chance with women ever at any point in your life. So there's a common story that people love to tell, and it's that true love is unconditional. This is something that we've heard all the time since we were little. And we've heard that when a woman loves, that she loves without question, without limits. But reality, if you are a man, if you've ever dealt with a woman who has done you dirty, reality paints a completely different picture, my friends. You see, the real truth about female attraction is that it is not some kind of fairy tale. In fact, a woman's love, despite how much it is romanticized in popular movies and books and everywhere that you look, it is never and will never be purely based on affection or devotion. Okay, there's actually a science to it. Now, if we look at it from an evolutionary point of view, there is actually an evolutionary drive that is rooted in survival. Okay, pretty much everything that women do, every choice that they make, is rooted in survival. And the raw truth that so many guys simply cannot even stomach is that a woman's feelings depends heavily on what you, as a man, bring to the table. Okay, never ever forget that. Now, in ancient times, women had to be highly selective about their partners for one simple reason. And that reason is the same as it was today as it was thousands of years ago. And that reason was survival. Okay, women had to survive. And so a man's ability to provide resources to a woman, his ability to defend his tribe, his ability to maintain power, wasn't just attractive at that time, it was absolutely essential. Because if a man couldn't do these things, then guess what? A woman was unlikely to survive. And so a woman's choice in a partner was pretty much determined by whether a man can do these things. Okay, and so a woman's choice in a partner actually determined whether her offspring would survive or not. This instinct that existed thousands of years ago, it never disappeared. It is still here. It is still very much intact even to this day, even in modern society. You see, a woman's need for survival has been hardwired into female psychology. In fact, the man who loses his grip on power, the man who loses his grip on status or his ability to provide is at risk of losing the respect of women. He's at risk of women leaving him, wanting nothing to do with him. And ultimately, this can be a very bad thing for you if you are a man of any age. See, what you have to understand about women is that every woman on the planet seeks security, okay? It is why they are drawn to men with ambition. It is why they're drawn to men who have drive. It's why they're drawn to men who have the ability to maintain control over their environment. See, at any point in time, doesn't matter what age you are, it doesn't matter what point you are at in your life, it doesn't matter if you are going through the worst time of your life or you're going through the best time of your life. If at any point you show signs of weakness, if you show signs of instability, if you show signs of failure, what begins to happen in the mind of every woman on the planet is that her attraction for you will begin to fade, but don't take it personally. This is all about survival. Okay, it's not some shallow or cruel thing like so many men make it out to be. All of this is deeply biological. Okay, if we look at evolutionary psychology, evolutionary psychology actually explains that women have evolved over thousands of years to favor the men who can enhance their chances of survival and the survival of their offspring or their children. And so if you really think about it, in many ways, love from a woman is kind of a form of respect. And once a man is no longer respectable, then what happens? Her feelings naturally shift and she'll naturally look for another man who can give her what she needs to survive, okay? If we look at the case of Cleopatra and Mark Antony, at the height of their power, their bond was undeniable. Cleopatra, who was the queen of Egypt at the time, was drawn to Antony's strength as a Roman general. But as Antony's fortunes changed and bad things happened to him, as he faced military defeat and his power began to crumble, what do you think happened? What happened 
was that Cleopatra's loyalty to him began to disappear. Her respect for Antony began to diminish because his ability to provide, protect, and conquer, with conquer being probably one of the most important parts of this, all of his ability to do these things had diminished. And so in this situation, what you see is a pattern that has been repeated throughout history time and time again. And the pattern is very clear. And it's that female love is directly tied to a man's ability to maintain status. Okay, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you're Jeff Bezos, if you're worth a hundred billion dollars. It doesn't matter. Okay, your ability to do these three things, to provide, protect, and conquer is directly linked to a woman's respect or love for you. Okay, so what usually happens is men oftentimes will make the mistake of assuming that love from his girlfriend, for example, will remain constant no matter what happens until one day she is gone out the door and he never seemed to see it coming. Okay, this happens to so many guys all the time, all around the world, every single day. Women are leaving thousands upon thousands of men. Why? Because they can no longer provide, protect, and conquer. They can no longer guarantee the woman's survival. It's really that simple. Okay, it all comes down to biology. And so many men believe that once they have won a girl over, once they have got her to be the girlfriend or the wife or whatever it is, they believe that they have won. They think they've beat the game, that the game is over. But the truth is that women are always constantly assessing a man's value every single day. Every single day is a new test. It's a new opportunity for a woman to test a man's value. And guess what happens? If you slip up too many times, if you begin to lose your edge as a man, if you spend a little bit too much time playing Halo or Call of Duty or whatever the, the latest game is, women will feel this. Your girlfriend will feel this. Okay, your wife will feel this. And this isn't something that women are consciously aware of. It's not a conscious decision they make. It is a deep primal instinct that they have. Okay, the Roman philosopher Seneca said it best when he said that it is a rough road that leads to the heights of greatness. And so women in many ways are drawn to those who are consistently climbing that road to greatness. They are not attracted to those who rest at the bottom, those who are sitting on the sidelines, those who are not able to provide, protect, and conquer. Okay, so what is the key lesson here? The key lesson here, my friends, is very, very simple. Okay, maintaining power, maintaining status, and maintaining your value as a man every single day, putting the work in every single day to maintain these things, to maintain your value and your status. It's not just about success in life. It's not just about making a ton of money so you can buy the Lambo or buy all the things that you want like that, the big house. What it's really about is maintaining attraction in your relationships okay women are not attracted to complacency a man must constantly prove himself not just in the world but to women okay in the sense that you have to constantly stay on your grind you have to maintain your status you have to do things every single day in order to maintain your value as a man okay it's really that simple it's, it's a hard pill for so many guys to swallow, but this is the raw truth. So many men get into relationships and they begin to slip or they're slipping way ahead, way before that, and they can never get a girlfriend to begin with. Okay. The moment that a woman senses that you are starting to slip as a man, guess what happens? Bad things begin to happen. This is where relationships fail. Okay. Men always assume that being loved is enough, but in reality, it's about continuing to be worthy of that love. Okay, so many guys take this personally, but it's nothing personal. It's biological. It is evolution. It is psychology. Okay, if we look at ancient wisdom, ancient wisdom has always pointed towards this truth. If we look at the Chinese philosophy of yin and yang, or the masculine energy and feminine energy, okay, masculine energy is active, it's assertive, it's always moving forward, it's always going out there and conquering. Women who represent the yin are drawn to this force. And so when that energy fades, when that yang 
energy begins to fade. When a man stops thriving, when you stop growing, women can feel this. So what you have to understand about women, it's one of the hardest truths for men to fully grasp, is that love from a woman, love from every woman, from any woman that you come across on this planet, whether it's love during a one night stand or whether it is love over a long term relationship, a woman's love is always a reflection of your ability to provide value, to protect, provide and conquer. Okay. It always comes down to that. It always comes down to survival. Okay? It doesn't matter whether it's protection, resources, status, your ability to pr protect, provide and conquer as a man is directly linked to how attracted women will be to you. Okay? And the sooner that you understand this, the sooner that you can stop viewing love from women as unfair or transactional. Female love isn't less valuable because it's conditional, okay? but it is conditional. It is actually a good sign that nature rewards those who continue to evolve, grow and conquer. Okay? A woman's love is conditional. This is what you have to understand. It is always conditional. And if you're not holding up your end of the bargain, then eventually she will leave. But you have to see this as a good thing. It's nature's way of keeping you in line. It's nature's way of making sure that you don't slip. It's nature's way of making sure that you as a man continue to evolve, that you continue to grow and you continue to conquer because that's what we are supposed to do as men. We're put here to conquer. Okay, so a man who keeps his status, a man who remains valuable, will keep the attraction, will keep the love of any woman he comes across. This is the core of maintaining a relationship with a woman. It's recognizing that love is not static. It is dynamic. It requires constant effort, constant growth, and it requires you as a man to continually evolve and become better and better and better. So in the end, the truth is simple. Female love, like all things in life, is conditional. It's conditional. There are strings attached. And it thrives on respect, status, and power. Okay, and if you lose these, my friend, if you begin to slip, become too complacent, then eventually you will lose her. So maintain these things and you will be just fine. And with that said, until next time, thanks for watching.